here is a look from our Skyview 22 camera at Homewood Suites on the river. Beautiful day outside, not uh, well, a couple clouds in the sky. And Scott, you said we may have to pack our umbrellas uh, for the next coming days, right? Uh, absolutely, Ariana. Yeah, right now, uh, beautiful, as you can see there with that live shot. Uh, but before we get to our weather, I do want to recount our countdown to our 2017 hurricane season, which is uh, going to be kicked off in four days from now. For the forecast from Colorado State University, Dr. Gray's old university there, he's a professor there. And uh, we're looking at Arlene would be the first named storm in this 2017 year. Now today, 79 degrees, a little bit uh, drop off in temperature from yesterday's 86. We had full sunshine yesterday. We had more clouds around today and the winds direction had changed. Average temperature though should be 75. So we were above that the record 91. Um, now as far as our current temperatures, Savannah is 73 degrees, Ridgeland is 73. Hampton, you're a little bit warmer at 78 degrees. Notice closer to the water, a little bit cooler as you would expect. Further inland, Reedsville, uh, Metter, Oh, and Vidalia, 83 to 86 degrees there. Now, take an hour by hour tonight. We'll see a few more clouds building in across the evening hours. It will be dry, however. Temperatures will be into the 60s across the board. And your radar network shows quiet conditions over our area. But I'm going to step over here, and you can see what's waiting in the wings. I showed you this in first forecast. Now, you'll notice a general blob of red here, and that's for tornado watches. But then individual cells are popping up, and those are tornado warnings and also severe thunderstorm warnings. And they're all ahead of a line. And a storm system is coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. So let's go to Futurecast. Let's bring it back home for us. And you can see that overnight tonight, not bad, but we'll bring the clouds into play during the course of the afternoon. It will remain dry through a good chunk of the period, and we won't really see any showers and th severe storms potentially until around 6 o'clock in the evening, around dinner time or so. Now, notice there's two lines here, and our Futurecast is picking up on this, the latest run showing a, a vigorous line from Sylvania up in through and close to the Hampton area. Not much to the south here, not much to the east as well. But watch what happens. That will wind down. Midnight hour, okay, we have a couple little cells, rain cells popping up, but then another line kicks in between, I'd say, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning till about 7 or 8 o'clock, and then all of that pushes out to sea. Once we get to mid-morning, things are going to be fine, and we'll see some improvement in the weather for your Tuesday. But again, two lines, it looks like, of storms with this particular system. Now, as far as the severe weather risk, where is it greatest? Well, there is a slight chance of seeing it basically west of I-95 and your counties of Hampton, Inland Jasper, Screven County, Northern uh, Effingham County, Bullock County, as well as Candler County, and then extending back to Tombs and Montgomery County as well. That's where you're into the slight risk. Everybody else having marginal risk, meaning a low end uh, risk of storms. Now, the impacts will be heavy downpours and strong winds, damaging winds potentially. Those are the two highest risks. Hail, believe it or not, is also going to be a uh, almost a moderate risk there and tornadoes between a low and a moderate risk. So again, we'll watch all of those components. Now, as far as the rain forecast looking ahead, a good chance of seeing some showers and where you have those heavier downpours, you could be picking up over an inch worth of rain. Now tonight, 59 to 65 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Things will be quiet tonight and quiet to start off the first half of your Monday, 75 to 84 degrees. But again, by the dinner time hour and thereafter, that's when things start to go downhill. A look at the seven day forecast. Not only do we have to deal with tomorrow night and going into early Tuesday morning, but we have another round of showers and possibly severe storms Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night before clearing out on Thursday. Now notice the temperature drop off. We go from 86 Wednesday to 74 Thursday to 68 on Friday. So that change has not uh, or that uh, the temperatures have not uh, changed here is what I'm saying here. So we're still looking at some much cooler weather by the end of the week and the beginning of next weekend.